Hey guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Back with something not quite uh, beer related, uh, but it is one of my EDC knives. Uh, this is the Griptilian uh, by Benchmade. This is their 551, I believe. Full size Benchmade Griptilian. Uh, this is my second version of this knife. Uh, my first one I got was the Olive Drab with the black coated uh, S30V, same shape um, uh, blade, same, uh, same drop point, sort of uh, S30V steel. Um, not going to really get into very much uh, on this knife today, although I will say if I had to choose a knife to go about a year without leaving my pocket, this Griptilian seems to be um, on the very short list of contenders for me to do that. Uh, when I initially bought this knife, uh, I what really uh, attracted me was I think the something other than um, the black blade. Um, so I liked the silver blade. A lot of things that I seem to have consistently through my um, original Griptilian and my two Spider Co's are the the powder coated black blade. So I really liked this uh, the this the regular natural S thirty V. Um, I did dig the the orange look, and Benchmade does make one of these style one of these very very similarly looking knives. Uh, I think it's like their rust proof sort of of line of of steel and stuff like that. But it comes in at, you know, $229, this, that, and the other thing. Um, and I thought I'd be able to, I got this for like $105 used off of eBay. And there was absolutely nothing used about this. You can just tell wear and tear uh, scuff marks on the blade, wear and tear on the hardware, wear and tear on the, on the belt clip. None of those things were there. Uh, I'm calling it a new to like new purchase. But what I didn't like about this when I initially first bought it was um, orange handle, silver blade, and a silver um, access lock, right? And then everything else was black on it. So uh, I had a black uh, pivot screw, uh, black screws in the body, uh, black uh, flat pivot on this side, and everything else was black. And you can kind of see I've, I've got the original um, hardware from it. I did end up buying just a set of uh, titanium screws for it. You can kind of buy a set of titanium screws for it. And even that alone really did uh, clean up the whole kind of aesthetic of the of the knife. So silver thumb stud, the thumb stud and the axis lock match, the pivot screws, the body screws, and my, um, my belt, I already kind of off camera loosened up the uh, belt clip screws because they were a little beat up, and I didn't want to get the struggle on <laughs> to film. Full disclosure. So I thought, you know, what would further clean up the look of this? Um, I got a, a silver deep carry clip to install on this thing. You can kind of see how much farther that uh, belt clip is going to allow to uh, kind of sit in the pocket, how far down, how much more of, de of a deep carry that's going to be. I thought it was cool. It's got a nice, um, it's got a nice sort of understated Benchmade logo right on there as well. And it came with, where's the other one? It came with two screws. Obviously, this third one that would have been in the middle is uh, blocked by the, the actual pocket clip. I thought it would be an overall upgrade in aesthetic. And then I can focus my attention on finding that silver uh, flat pivot piece. Um, unfortunately for me, the, uh, the little, uh, titanium screw set that I bought off of, uh, whether it was eBay or Etsy, it did not have the, the flat pivot screw, which was, I was annoyed by. Um, I'll see what I can do, whether I get, um, I'm definitely probably just going to keep with the, the titanium look and, uh, that'll be that. But of course it's, you know, of course it's going to set me back, uh, probably 15 bucks just for the pivot screws blue lock tight for when we are finishing up and let's get this thing uh disassembled for all the people in twitterverse or uh, youtubeville i'm super sorry i don't know what torx size this is i just don't sorry but it does make life super easy to when you have it a little already primed you know what i mean 
bad, not bad, not bad. There you go. I don't even know if I'm going to keep these. We'll see. I'll probably keep it for about a week. I'm just going to clean this up real quick off camera. Just to make sure I don't have any weird buildup underneath that. Uh, yeah, and it looks fine, right? Very low wear. I've been very, very pleased with this thing. It feels, it feels differently without any pocket clip. It really does. But the action on this thing, um, I already already taken the uh, the pivot uh, um, screw out and cleaned and did some little uh, lubricating in there. So I mean, it just drops. It just drops closed. This is a. Uh, as smooth of an action as it comes it really is so i think it's time to put this new pocket clip on and let's see what the difference looks like you know what i mean let's see if i can put these on while trying to uh, make it look appealing on the video a little bit of loctite Grab my little rag, make sure there's no Loctite on it. Oh man, I just put it in my pocket. All right, cool. It feels really good in the pocket. There's no wiggle room in this uh, belt clip. But I'm just gonna give it one more little turn. One more little turn for good luck. It didn't really move at all. This is a must. There you go. I mean, how long did that uh, whole project take? Not very long at all. And I think it just, again, it just helps clean up the overall aesthetic. You don't have three different colors going on. Uh, now I only have three different colors going on. I'm just messing with you. Uh, this is, uh, that's soon to be changed out. Uh, that's just one of those, it's a domestic part, so I don't have to wait for it to come over from China and X, Y, and Z. So um, I wanted to get this one up and going first. That was the biggest... Uh, sort of hurdle I think to getting this all cleaned up. I hope you guys enjoyed a little look at my Griptilian 551 and uh, what I've done to it over the last couple of weeks. Um, I appreciate the clicks and the watches guys, you know that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.